all right what is going on everyone and welcome back to another black desert video so today we're going to be grinding in the new area admittedly i don't really know how to pronounce this area but it's my first time grinding in this spot i heard it was good for um artifacts like the kabua's artifact and it's mostly it but we're gonna do an hour see what it's all about i can put my tent down somewhere that would be pretty cool And I don't know what to expect. I know in the next week or so, they're actually going to nerf this spot's damage by like 50%. And I'm not really sure what to expect. I just know that if there's a 50% damage nerf, then right now it's going to be crazy. So, yeah, I don't really know what to expect. I'm just kind of going in blind. Um, I don't think this area has a specific monster type. So we're just going to go in with all-out attack and my standard pve um i feel like i'm missing something but i have no idea what i'm missing so but that said 275 let's get it i thought i was gonna be done after i got my telescope piece so here we are all right let's turn this on yeah, never grinded here. Gonna figure this out. I guess we'll get it before and after. It's just to say I tried this spot. Okay, so what do I look for? That one's glowing. Oh my god. Building up powerful energy. What does that mean? Uh, I assume don't stand in stupid and I'll be okay. One leg down. What does all this mean? I've watched some streamers do this, but I didn't really, like, I guess it won't really make sense until I actually do it. So I think what I've heard is green, those green things on the ground, they give the enemies a damage buff, but if you stand in it, you get hurt. So want to make sure they're not in it, but you're also not in it. Am I supposed to like be attacking a leg or something or am I just going for the ads an overcharged enemy what does that mean that's a lot of red i could use more of those jewels if i get like 200 right now a lot of people have asked me where do you grind for those um event items and honestly the best spots are the ones where you can kill enemies fast and there's like a fast respawn because I'm pretty sure quantity over quality. So like grinding Olin's is probably the worst spot, for example. And like Polly's Force is probably a good spot. Uh, I don't know what that means. And it looks like it's bad, so. This just is like a a tower spot. You know, like when you kill an enemy and they just you stand in the same spot. Like Star Zen Towers. Oh. I guess if it's glowing red, that means we attack it. 
Why just I frame that? I'm not sure what that green and red means. I just know red not good. Green usually is kind of good, but not here. Ow, that hurt. I don't know what I did. I don't know what that means, but I think I'ma just iframe frame it. I should probably put this on screen. I don't know what a good trash loot per hour is, but this is also my first hour. Uh, well, the body is glowing. So that must mean attack the body. Sometimes I wonder, is this better for succession or awakenings? Right now, it seems like... I don't think there's a downside for either one, because, like, everything is grouped up, so succession would be fine. And awaken, you just kind of AoEing everything anyway. Energy flows within. It looks like it's going to explode at any given time. Like, <laughs> if you've ever played a video game before, we know what bombs look like. Or just... <laughs> I hope most people don't know what a bomb, like, actually looks like in real life. I mean, you do, but you probably shouldn't. I'm gonna Q block that. What's happening? It's sucking in energy. Oh, that did an explosion. Yeah, me trying to get back attacks here is not really happening. Like, I'm just kind of AoEing. attack the core now. There's a bad in the green. Is there a time limit I have on the burst window? Activating emergency power control. I get that there's flavor text in games, but when I'm like occupied by like 15 other things, I just want to see the relevant information. Is this, like, first window?
Also, if I get another straight artifact, I could use another one. I have four of them. Not from here, but gotten four of them. Activating energy discharge. New leg open. Uh, is that green safe? What does green mean? Energy balance distribution at 30. Yep. Am I supposed to be attacking something? Nice. Spawned right on me. I'm just kind of like waiting. Is there like a secret boss or something that's supposed to happen? Or is that it? Okay, so body is down. What happens if you take too long in the body? Does it just explode and you die? Or <laughs> I don't want to find out, but. So, like, the people who get the higher trash loot, is it just clear speed, or... Because this is waves, are most people generally around the same area?
Because you guys know my RNG is worse than average. I wonder how much trash loot we'll be getting. Not necessarily are we going to get any rare drops like a fragment. You get trash loot for when that explodes or no? Do leg open? Something tells me like back attack damage. <laughs> Like, you can do it, but the leg does not count. Emergency power protocol. Weapon stones are actually worth a lot right now because the second Chitina came out. Dude, I am so glad that, like, I don't actually need it. And I'll pick it up whenever prices go down in, like, a few months or something. But, yeah, I am so glad that I just don't need it. I made a few billion off of just selling weapon stones the other day. I'm actually kind of surprised. I've only gotten like three of those. Um, uh, four of those jewels. Grinding this spot. Pretty high density, actually. Dude, we're 20 minutes in and we're in our. Weight limit's almost full. Holy. Guess they got, got to sell more weight limit. So we're at like 9,000 so far. So basically you, you break the leg and then body opens up burst the body down kill more ads and then you repeat i don't 
Unless there's a secret boss that I'm not getting yet. That's not the overloaded one. It seems like it's all the mechanics. little flamethrower ones. I'll be honest, I can't really tell if the body, how much health that has left. <laughs> There's just so many enemies here. But I assume I'll just AoE it down. This part is the confusing one. Like, when it does the burst, it wipes all of them. But do I get loot out of it? I think I only get loot out of the ones that you damage. Honestly, this spot isn't as bad as I thought it would be. Like, I, it's kind of confusing, but... Like, it's pretty chill compared to... Let's say, Tungrad Ruins. Dang, there's a lot of downtime during this phase. New leg. Eee, that was a new attack I've never seen before. Thought I got it. Critical levels. 
Oh, I need that overcharged. But a daily quest. Honestly, though, if these are the only mechanics, it's really not that bad. I would tell you not to get hit, but there's a lot of stuff to look at on screen. But, like, assuming you just know how to use basic iframes, you should be okay. rank Just give me a 10 mil artifact right real quick Now that I think of it, like if I got the 10 bill artifact, would I sell it? Probably not. I actually want to keep it and use six of them. Wait, can you back attack the legs by any weird chance? Hmm. Another quest done. Just need to do three more of the mini bosses. I can't tell if those are random though. Or did they just spawn? after like a certain phase every time. The fragment. Are they still max price? Cause if you get these often, seems like that's pretty good money. happy with those event items. This is actually a really good event for all of you who are trying to get your cups for your accessories. Those jewels are pretty good. Uh, the one you should really get is the one for your earrings because that one is the hardest grind. So there's one right choice to pick, but at the end of the day, like if you're just using it to get it, then all right, I guess Probably rings are the high priority ones, followed by earrings. I would say the earring ones are the hardest to get in general. Or most time consuming, I guess I should say.
good. That CC'd. Why does the green area that mean? <laughs> God, boys, our inventory is almost full again. That's not good. I'm at 8 out of 10 for the overcharged ones oh there's nine need one more I will say this spot, like, it looks intense if you're watching it. But when I'm actually playing it, it doesn't really feel that bad. I've gone under 50% health, like, two or three times, just not knowing what was happening. But, like, on the average, when I'm, like, a normal phase. Doesn't seem that bad. Maybe I'm just like unintentionally or I have no idea doing something right or wrong. Sometimes I wonder, is it better to clear the legs faster or like kill the ads and then like take your time? You would think doing the mechanic properly is better. Oh, I have no idea. Seventeen thousand loot, and it's been a little over half hour.
I, I guess if it would help if you can one combo things faster. What are the overcharge thing? Seems like we're due for one any given second now. Is that it? Hello? Sometimes there's like on a lot of these, but sometimes there aren't. If I get like 10 of these things an hour, the jewels, that's pretty good. I'm also not going to grind like a lower level spot just to do this. I got stuff to do. Don't get stepped on. the thing does have a health bar I just like there's too many enemies to see it Man, this spot must be rough for people don't that don't have a lot of maids and stuff. But I mean like you could just horse stack. It's not really a big deal, but you're min-maxing that timer. Probably matters.
This should be the next Ataraxian dungeon boss. It's kind of cool, but well, maybe more mechanics. Blue leg up. I feel like if I did another hour of this starting over, I could do so much better. It's because like, I understand it now, and the first like 15 minutes were just me figuring it out. How many Kabua artifacts or the mini pieces do you do most people get an hour? Is it like three or four? Oh, the good news is people can grind here infinitely though. The waves just don't stop. It stops like when you stop, I guess. I didn't even look at how much uh, the trash loot is worth. We'll figure that out in um, 15 minutes when we finish. Three thousand loot already. You got fifteen minutes left. Yeah, I would say this is pretty chill, despite it looking like it's really intense. It's just a lot going on on the screen. But realistically, it's not that bad. Oh, 
Well, no matter what, we made 400 mil minus some taxes and these fragment pieces. I frame it. What's the point of that doing the red circle and then doing an instant slam immediately after? Like, okay. Kill the mini boss and it gives you one black stone. <laughs> wow. What a garbage mini boss. Me trying to get back attacks. Yeah, did that slam. I was prepared for it and I was waiting for the second one. I'm like, there's no indicator of the second one. That was a fast leg clear.
All right, so we have eight minutes left. One straight artifact, please. Going into which phase? I don't really understand this one. Like, are you supposed to let it burst the enemies down? Or... I don't understand. Like, when it does that burst, it kills all of them, right? But do you get trash loot out of it? That's the important question. I'm gonna be honest, this hour went by really fast. Like, it was actually not bad. It's a fun spot. As intense as it looks. However, the XP here, I don't think is that good. <laughs> I will do a level 66 push at some point. Like, honestly, getting 66 to me, it's it's nice, but I'd rather have gear gains and grind for silver versus a little bit of XP. The only one, like, down thing? I'm surprised I only got, like, 10 of those uh, jewels from the event an hour here with how uh, dense this area is Uh, we have three minutes. I think we can only do like one more phase.
What is happening? Okay. Wait, it just chose that leg. We have another one, or is it? Oh, I just didn't burst that leg down. I don't know why. I was b trying to. Like, we haven't had that AFK like charging phase. Maybe we did. I just wasn't paying attention. Only had that twice. Oh, here it is. Okay. Um, well, we have three minutes left on our frenzy, so, or two minutes left. That's what I'm looking at, my, uh, frenzy buff. So whenever that's over, I'll consider our hour over. Standard that one. All right, after this phase, we're done. That's a big boy. He's like sideways on the robot. All right, cool. Okay, 30 more seconds. I don't, like, how do you just end this? I guess when it goes to the next leg phase. Okay, uh, I feel like I should stay here because it's just doing the bursting. So, oh, let me calculate the trash. Okay, so we got 30, let's do about 32,000 trash loot that hour. So, yeah, we'll just say 32,000 loot and anything else we get after this. We don't count. 32k. My first ever hour. Alright, let's get out of here. Kill these and just get out. <clears throat> nope. I'm out. I 
I think this is a good aggro spot, but yeah, let me see. Um, we got five of these, so that's 500 mil. And then 32,000 trash. Let's go back to town. Or no, let's go turn, turn these in. Is that good? I don't know. <laughs> but honestly, that spot was not too bad. I think I could do a lot better if I were to do another hour. But honestly, though, for me in particular, let me just see who's on. Okay, we'll calculate all the loot and everything after. That's what the telescope does, by the way. Okay, so. Um, honestly, most of this stuff, kind of irrelevant. Black stones are at like the highest point right now, but that fluctuates. 500 mil minus taxes off of that. We calculated 32,000 just because that was the ended hour. Got a little bit extra. Um, let me... <laughs> I wish I could just sell it from here. Let me just... Okay, let me calculate it then. 32306 times 25,190. That is 813 mil from trash loot. That's pretty good. And 500 minus tax. I would say in total, probably around like 1.4 billion silver an hour for my first hour there. That's pretty good. But with that said, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you tomorrow. Hit that subscribe button if you're new and I'll see you later. Peace.